So, TechFlow, well, it says it in the name, doesn't it? It's primarily a tech channel. Today, we're reviewing a smart bed. So, let's get straight to it. So, really weird place for me to be sat whilst recording a tech flow video. It's not often I've got a camera pointing at me whilst I'm sat on a bed. However, I wish somebody had done one of these videos when I was buying this smart bed. Now, I couldn't really find any videos online when I wanted to buy one of these beds, so I just bought one anyway, and here I am making a video to hopefully help people that want to buy a smart TV bed make the right decision. So, uh, let's dive straight into this. So what is a smart TV bed? Well, it's a bed frame that essentially you put a mattress on like a normal bed and you would sleep there, except it will be able to have a TV in the end of it, most probably motorized, and then it also has smart features like this one as to which we're gonna go over in this video. And by the way, I don't use any of the smart features that this bed has, I only use it as a TV bed. However, I will go through what this bed has specced on it. That sounds really weird, it's a bed. I'll also then go through all the things that I like about it and then the things that I don't like about it. So let's start right from the beginning, the TV. Now, I bought this exact bed because it could house up to a 43-inch TV. Now, when I was shopping around for these smart beds, a lot of them were like maximum 29 inches, 32 inches, and I wanted something that could house a TV a little bit bigger because I wanted to get a 4K TV up in there. Now, Alex, why a smart bed in the first place? Well, the way this room is laid out, there's no physical place for me to actually put a TV that would have an enjoyable watching experience when I'm in bed watching TV. I could put it on that wall there, but that would mean that if I'm with a partner in bed, we'd both have to be looking that way, crooked necks off to the side. You want it bang in front of you. Now, mounting the TV is super, super simple in this bed. Essentially, you get your TV of choice. You take off the legs as if you were to mount it on a wall, and then it has a bracket on the back on the arm of the TV motor, which you can adjust and move to the size of your TV, and then screw it in. It's essentially really, really easy, and it has two little rubber feet that the TV can sit on, and then you get your little remote controller in your hand, which you can do numerous things with, like shine a light, put the TV up and down, and obviously this is a smart bed, so you can change the volume, bass, and treble on the remote. And you can also flick between the TV, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Once you've managed to mount your TV up near the end of the bed and it's all working with the motor and you've plugged your bed in, then you need to get your sources to the TV, depending on what you'd like to plug into, well, the TV, what you want to use on it. Now this bed has an awesome little cutout down the right hand side where you could put things like a skybox, an xbox, and obviously the motor has cutouts in it for you to run the cables yourself. So I have a HDMI cable going up to my TV, and that's all I really need. So you've built your bed, you've mounted your TV, you've ran your HDMI cable, you've put your peripherals under there. Well, that's all good, isn't it? But no, the magic doesn't stop there. This being a smart bed, not just a TV bed, it actually has surround sound speakers built into it. You've got an actual sound bar up the front of the bed, which is absolutely awesome. And then you've got these rear speakers to the left and to the right. Now, hold on. There's also a subwoofer, but it's not actual surround sound, unfortunately. This side of the bed is tret as the left channel, and this is tret as the right channel, which really, really annoys me. I'm a surround sound geek. I want full on 5.1 surround sound, which is why I don't actually use these speakers and subwoofer built in. I actually have a 5.1 surround sound system built into the roof. So if you guys wanna see a further video about how I've set all of that up, let us know with a like rating and a comment down below. But how do you set up this sound bar and these speakers that are literally in the side of the bed. Well, there's a subwoofer underneath and essentially you just plug them in and then you get this little control pod which you can click a button on and flick it between the TV's input, Bluetooth or auxiliary from let's say a PC or an Xbox or you can do it via the handy dandy remote which actually works over Wi-Fi and not point and shoot. It's a Wi-Fi thing so you can be in the, in the next room Still click the button and it seems to work. All that that is is a little light on the front. We figured that out today, actually. Really, really cool. 
This remote is easy to misplace and it's also an extra thing that you have to keep on your side table as well as well the remotes you've already got there like I have a PlayStation and Xbox and then the TV remote and then an Apple TV remote it's just remotes galore absolutely mental and every time you want to watch TV you've always got to reach for this one because this is how you get the TV up and down. So if you do lose your remote though, don't worry, there's actually a hardware switch that you can choose or not to choose to drill to the side of the bed with the included holes, and essentially with a click of a button down the side of the bed, you can raise and lower the TV. Actually, that's quite interesting. I might do that on my bed. I'm gonna do that. Well, another thing I really like as well is the control pod that attaches to the subwoofer. Well, it actually has a USB port in it, which I actually use to charge my phone. So I plug my lightning cable in for my iPhone and there, well, the bed is charging up my phone. There's no need for me to have to plug my phone into the wall. I can just use the bed's built-in USB port on the controller. And the really funny thing is, you know, you've got your big smart bed here. If you do want to watch TV but not have the sound blaring out, it does have an option to plug in a set of headphones on the little smart controller so you can be sat in your bed with headphones on if you want watching your TV that's in the end of the bed. Maybe you've got your wife or whoever next to you and she's uh, wanting to get some sleep but you'll want to catch up on some TechFlow videos. There you go. But that's it. The whole thing is super simple from actually building the bed to putting your TV and having it mounted there to then activating the motors and then putting together the surround sound system underneath the bed. It's all done with RCA cables and it's really, really simple to do. And uh, to be honest, yeah, I like it. This really wows people when you bring them round, especially if you know you're bringing somebody back to your bed. I'm 21, you get the gist and then you pull this up and they're like, wow. That is cool. It turns a lot of heads, is what I'm saying, and I really like that. Um... <laughs> I like the fact that I do have a 43-inch 4K TV in my bedroom, but at the click of a button, I do, and it's totally vanished. The TV is gone. Where is it? Well, it's in the end of the bed. What don't I like about owning a smart bed? Not much, really, to be honest, other than the bulkiness. That's the one thing that I just didn't really get from the photos. This is a huge headboard and that bit that houses the TV, obviously remember it has a TV in the end of it, is still a really big thick unit. You can get smaller ones, but the TVs are like up to 29 to 32 inches and I wanted to have a, a bigger TV, so that sort of wrote off the smaller ones. But that is the only downside I can see to owning one of these smart TV beds. However, what I do use the speakers for is I have an Echo Dot connected under the bed to the speakers around the bed and I only really use that Echo Dot for controlling the enabled lights in this room and also setting alarms. So in the morning, my alarm, yeah, from so is piped through the bed surround sound system or sorry, left and right channels. So then my alarm essentially fills the whole bed and the bed vibrates and that's... Yeah, you could get a TV bed long ago, but now they've got all these smart features in with soundbars built in and stuff, and I just thought it's really cool to do a video on, and I never even thought of it. So um, there you go. That's what it's like living with a smart bed. I really, really enjoy it. It's fun. It turns people's heads, and I have a TV here as and when I want it. So uh, yeah, I've got nothing really else to say about it, to be honest. My name's been Alex, and this has been TechFlow, and this has been a thousand pound smart bed. Let me know if you guys are going to buy one or not. Or do you think they're ridiculous? Or do you think they're stupid? Or do you think they're a great idea and everybody should have one? I don't really know yet, but that's my experience with a smart bed so far. We'll catch you in the next one.